Howdy there, SLIS students, Jimmy here. I'm going to talk a little bit about how WordPress is going to be used in our class, and I thought I would uh, start off by showing you what I have to do to make people able to post. So I've got a list here of, of the people who've signed up so far, and I'm gonna select them all, and I'm gonna go to editor. So now everybody on the list will be an editor, okay? That's the first thing. So even after you sign up, let me bring up another browser here. And we'll go to, to Peek of Old Peace, if I can spell correctly. Which, by the way, is a, I assume, terrible translation into uh, Latin of uh, one of our family's first domain names, jfox.net. Some of you have emailed me at newton at jfox.net, and that's where Peek of Old Peace comes from. I host uh, the code related um, projects on here and it's just another domain. It's probably just some way, another way, yet another way in which I'm extremely nerdy. So from this particular spot on peakofallpeace.net, notice I opened another browser so that I'm not logged in as the administrator. I wanted to show you here's how you register. So there's a link there for registration and uh, it'll ask you to pick a username, pick an email address. I don't really care which uh, username or email address you use. Um, it doesn't matter much to me. You may use your EUID for your username, your uh, UNT uh, EUID if you'd like. It doesn't matter. But once you've decided you know, what your username and password is going to be and you sign up for it, you show up on this list over here, and then I promote you. And now that you've been promoted, this is how you do your assignment. You log back in to peakofallpeace.net. As a matter of fact, there's no direct link, I don't think. I, I was there. Uh, it doesn't matter. If you go to peakofallpeace.net and then put wp-admin. Now that's how you get into the uh, administration dashboard for WordPress in general, and that's how we're going to manage pages, okay? So once you do, once you go to peakofallpeace.net slash wp-admin, after you've logged in as your new editor self, if you go to pages and wait for it to load, WordPress, by the way, is a really pretty standard web publishing platform. Um, and it's, I just figured it was another way to expose students to, uh, some of the tools you'll experience as you try to create web content in, you know, the modern web environment. So you'll go here and add a new page. I'm actually not going to add one. Well, yeah, well, I'll show you kind of how this should work. I'm not going to save it, but I want to show you a couple of things. When you hit add new, pick a good title, put maybe your EUID and all about me or all about blah, if you want to put your name. Uh, make sure that you go to parent and choose fall 2012. Notice there's my example page there. Go to fall 2012. And the reason that I want you to make that page your parent, it'll show up in this menu right here. So all of us will have all about me pages. Each of us, I su suppose, would be a better way to say it, in this menu, this pull down menu on the main page of peakofallpeace.net. And this page we're going to revisit throughout the semester. You're going to add content to it, um, both content that you write with uh, a text editor by hand, so HTML, and uh, you know other stuff you might create. So you, for your final project, you might end up making a project using something besides just plain HTML. But no matter what, all of your files will end up linked on your All About Me page. So as a matter of fact, I'll open mine as an example. These are public, so be mindful of that. Yeah, I don't have anything on mine except Jimmy likes astronomy. So I would put my sample, my All About Me page and this is just like using Microsoft Word okay it's not just like using Microsoft Word but it's a what you see is what you get editor so if I type in text and I'm not going to save this but you can make it bold and you can make it italics and you can don't but you can make it strike through uh, you can change the font you can add links you can add images using the tools at the top here this this button here for adding media um, if you really want to get uh, sort of creative you can put it in full screen mode like I did and the editor kind of takes up the entire browser window um, I get out of that real quick you can also directly edit the HTML here and although that's a cool uh, idea it's not the requirement mainly what I wanted you to do is be able to use WordPress to post uh, content but you certainly can use it as an HTML editor it's not color uh, it's not a syntax highlighted which the uh, tags are and the content both show up as black on a white background. In some of the text editors we'll talk about in class, um, it can actually be 
the colors can actually help you keep up with where content starts and stops and that kind of stuff. Um, so it's probably best to just use the visual mode, not that it matters much to me, but you'll see some other editing tools um, beside there's like left left uh, center, right align, add a link, uh, what is that, force a page break? Uh, oh, insert more tag. Oh, so you can hide your content under a more link if you'd like to, spell check, and some other tools. Um, don't bother fiddling with any of the other settings, but just make sure your parent is set to uh, fall 2012. And of course, you can't do any of these things that I'm showing you until you've been promoted to editor status. If for some reason I'm taking too long, so if you went to uh, peakofallpeace.net and you went to register, and oh, there it was, there's a registration link, and it just took too long for me to get back to you, e email me and say, I'm ready to be an editor. I, I signed up for my uh, account and I'm not an editor yet and I'll go ahead and promote you. So I'll talk a little bit more about this in class when I see you, but this is our uh, main tool, at least for this first assignment. It's the first web content I'm asking you to make that's not uh, the wiki assignment. Okay, um, very briefly. I say that always, very briefly, and then it takes forever. If you go to uh.edu, you can find on here the uh, map link the maps link and you can find the library which is there in the middle there are a couple of places to park i generally park at the main parking the welcome center parking over here uh off calhoun which you can get to well it depends on which way you're coming but if you come down the spur then there's an exit and you come to calhoun uh the exit's right there at university so you just go up university and turn into the uh, welcome center and then the library is over here um, there are places to park around campus, but the um, you know you you if you park in a spot that's marked as not uh, open and you get a ticket, you're responsible for it. Some people have called the parking center and managed to get out of it, but it's kind of on you. There, so there's welcome center parking right here. It's not free. Um, I don't remember how much it was, but it's uh, lit and it's covered and. Um, there is a, a, a McAllister's Deli on this end, which is probably where I'm going to eat. And there's a parking at the Conrad Hilton uh, building, the hotel and restaurant management building. And uh, I'm sure there are other spots, like there's some probably over here by the stadium, even though the stadium might be under construction. So be wary of this part of campus over here. Um, the library doesn't have any parking anywhere close to it. So if you've never been to University of Houston before, the safest place to park or the kind of uh, no worries place to park is the Welcome Center over here right off University, the main entrance. It's really easy to find once you get to the main entrance at University of Houston. Um, and then once you walk all the way over here to MD Anderson, we're in the basement in 10G. So you go down the main stairwell, the staircase in the middle of the building there, and uh, take a right and you'll see 10G on your left. It's pretty well marked. You can also ask some people at the reference desk if that won't work. Um, if for some reason you have questions or something like that, shoot me an email or post a question in eCampus and I'll try to get that taken care of. We'll meet Thursdays from 6.30 till I can get us out of there. Uh, I typically don't stay till 9, but um, you know, I mean not 6.30, 6, sorry guys, 6 to 9. We uh, typically don't stay the whole time, but I've also done that before too. All right, so I'll see you guys soon. Go ahead and... Uh, if you make sure you've done the wiki assignment, that'll be out of the way. Make sure you've read the chapters in the book, HTML5 and CSS3, the Visual Quick Start Guide, which you can find a reference to or a link to on the class page. Uh, the first four chapters, and um, yeah, we'll go from there. It should be an interesting class. We're doing cutting edge HTML here, people. Nothing like this has ever been done except lots of other times. But still, I'm actually going to go ahead and move my page to the trash before I forget. So you can make as many pages as you want. And you can publish them or mark them as private. You can, a lot of the other options over there you can edit. So play around with, with WordPress. We'll talk more about it in class though. All right, see you soon.